us a little bit about Sharon Gregory. Well, I moved here in 1979 from Joliet, Illinois. I was raised in a Catholic home. I started attending a women's Bible study group that met on a Wednesday because I didn't work Wednesdays. And then my brother took me out one evening to, for just a, a Coke and we talked about Jesus and I accepted him that night. So he's been with me ever since then. A couple of months after I accepted Jesus, um, my brother and I were going to church and it was a long drive, about an hour away from where we lived. And on the way home from church, he pulled over to the side of the road on the interstate because someone had broke down. Well, he picks up this man and he takes all of us out to lunch. And we found him a motel and my brother paid for two or three nights at the motel for him and gave him money so that he would be able to buy food while he was there. And when the car was finally fixed, about three days later, my brother paid the entire bill for repair on the, on the car gave him money so that he would be able to stay at motels on his way because he lived in, in California. After the, we left the man, I said to my brother, I said, you aren't going to see any of that money. Why, why did you give it all to him? You know, and, and he says, God told me to do it, so I did it. I said, okay. But the exciting thing was that as we went to church in the following weeks, this man, every single week, sent him money with a note telling him. He told him how he, he'd found a pastor and had him talk to him more about Jesus, how he accepted Jesus into his life, then slowly his family, his wife, his children, his siblings, their family, and, and his own mother and father were all brought in. And on his notes, he would say, ah, there's eight of us now that have accepted Christ, you know, or he'd go on and on. So every week, it was that was the big thing, is how many are now? with Jesus because of because of what my brother did. Well, to me, that, that really, really changed a lot because well, I knew he was impacting my life. But for me to see how he would talk to a complete stranger, and, and again, because he felt God was telling him to stop, to pick up this gentleman. Um, it just was an act of obedience. And so it's made me think about how when, when God talks to me, when I feel the Holy Spirit is telling me something, I do it. When, afterwards, when I started, I started working at, at a homeless shelter, working with, uh, with uh, drug addicts and, and alcoholics and people that were mentally ill. And I reached out to, to them there, and that's how I started getting people to move out here to, to help them, because they were all, were all uh, homeless. The members of the church have, have physically come out here and worked, and my upstairs room, which was not completed at all, they finished off, so it has a private bath up there. Why is it worth it? Because there's always the ones that make it. Jesus loves everyone. God created every single one of us, and we matter to Him. So, um, He wants us to be His hands and feet, but He also wants our heart to go out to love those, everyone. Not just people that are struggling, but to everyone. And uh, sometimes when you reach out to someone else, you actually become blessed far more than you thought you would ever be. I do my Bible readings and I pray and my prayer usually starts with, okay Lord, I'm still here on the earth. What do you want me to do today? 